I'm excited about this grand opening. Um, it's an opportunity for the community to celebrate what's happening here. And as we struggle with all the other things that we address on a regular basis, we want to make sure that we don't forget how important children are and we don't forget how important learning is and that we don't forget how important innovation is and that we don't forget how important it is that we provide services for these communities because that's what makes them healthy and it excites us because we have an opportunity to support these families. The way I'm feeling after the grand opening, it's, I have a sense of pride, sense of community, sense of just feeling really relieved that the project has been completed and that now it's ready to serve children and families. The Summer Learning Center is a, just a really wonderful project and is going to add so much in the mission community by providing affordable childcare for the families in this community. It's been a long road, but it's been one that it's been of heart work and hard work. As district attorney, my priority is public safety. And I know that when children starting as early as infants have safe places to be taken care of, to learn and to grow, we as a city are living up to our values and we are building long-term safety and strength and resilience. This is one of our first opportunities to actually have a co-located ECE program in a low-income building that allows us to basically create a real intimate community. We're actually, not only are the children learning in this space, but the adults are getting an opportunity to be educated as well. In terms of what best serves the children, what best inspires them to learn. Co-location, it provides an opportunity for community-based organizations like Felton Institute that provides ECE and family support services to offer these services in the same housing facility where the families reside. With this building, we were able to put it into a physical space and have us keep families in place with our housing and keep our families and children with long-term generational effects by having the space with Felton's ground floor childcare. Families will be able to drop off, literally walk down the stairs, walk down, to drop off their babies, their precious gift, in the hands of Felton Institute, right? To be cared for, to be educated by educators who are fully trained, who are qualified, and who have a lot of experience doing this kind of work. I think that a parent, when they bring their child to a quality program, right, they feel immediately safe of the environment that they're bringing their kids into. And then when they make that connection with the teacher, and they build that relationship and makes them feel very interested in being part of our school community. You know, being here in California, we all understand that education is key. What I appreciate more about what's going on here at Felton and what this project is kind of symbolizing is that a lot of underserved population community has an opportunity for great, great service. You know, it takes a special person, I think, to be part of community-based organizations and to commit their lives to helping others. We will continue to do this for as long as we have the energy for, and I have a lot of energy, so I would love to continue to partner with the city and county of San Francisco, as well as um, community developers, to make sure that Felton is playing a role in contributing our expertise in these kinds of services. My vision for Felton is that we can create for underserved or under-resourced communities, a continuum of care. So starting with our babies and wrapping our arms around them and giving them the education and giving them an opportunity to get excited about learning. Um, and then supporting their parents um, and the people who support them with all the information that they can to support these children become our next generation of leaders.